be um, be birth? Can that be something that you generational? Generation? Yes. yes, it can. I don't know of um, right now. I don't know of a spirit that cannot pass down through the bloodline, generational or familiar. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have a question. Yes, ma'am. So, if you know someone who's close to you who clearly has the spirit of sin, so and you've grown to the point where you you're no longer offended. Mm -hmm. But, you know, your heart hurts. It's like, well, how do I pray to help them realize or how do you First of all, you're gonna find that, it, I guess is what you're going to find that spirit up. And as Paul said, you're going to pull on the love. You, you cannot cast it out right. until they, their mind is there, but you can stop it from speaking. You can speak spiritual paralysis on it. You can bind that thing up in the name of Jesus Stop and say, you everyone. will not come in this house. You will not disrupt his mind. You know, pray for him. And as Paul said, just pour on the love. Because let me tell you what happened. And I know uh, Periscope, Facebook, thank you guys for joining us. I may go over a few minutes, so I know they may have to cut off. But let me share this with you. Sometimes when we uh, don't go back and get it right, mm -hmm. We hurt that person. Amen. Someone became upset at something that I did about 10 years ago, something that I said to them. They wanted to, to help me teach, but I was preparing the curriculum uh, for a college level. And there was one part that this person was really interested in teaching. And I said, well, send it to me right quick because the college that I was preparing it for, you know, they were, they were you know, I was on a timeline. And so when he sent, sent it to me, um, it was it was not college level and so i just said i can't because i'm in a hurry and i just i can't use this and offensive yeah. so um i don't think I, I said that to him but i didn't use it mm -hmm. and so that was over 10 years ago mm -hmm. and i kept saying is he mad about that he grow up he'll get over it you know, because we were both ordained ministers. So I'm thinking, he got a relationship with God. God can tell him <laughs> that he told me not to use that. Because I felt like, I, even when I'm not trying to be mean, my voice is so rough. And there's so much authority in my voice that sometimes I can be misconstrued as being mean or nasty. And because I did have a slight attitude, like, you, you mad? For real? Because in my mind, I'm understand. thinking, didn't you see the rest of the book that I had written? Didn't you see that? So if you already know that this is this is this is the caliber, this is the level that I'm working on, then why are you gonna send me something like that? Mm -hmm. And so remember I told you sometimes now I know that I had to look at okay, how is this affecting me? I reacted rather than respond. There was a better way that I could have went to him and said, you know what? Can you do it over? Just review the format that I have with the other deliverance manual. Just review every chapter. Can you come up with something like that? But instead, I just shut the door. And he has been angry with me for over 10 years. My Lord. Mm -hmm. For over 10 years. And it has Good affected morning. his life. It has affected our relationship morning, and even the relationship of our children. Mm -hmm. Because remember, that spirit of offense will do what? It will go and gather people. That's true. You know what? She thinks she's so smart. Mm -hmm. She thinks she's the only one anointed. She thinks she's the only one that can teach. Oh my God. When the truth of the matter is, I don't think that at all. Right. I said something to, to, I was getting ready to minister at my old church. And um, uh, the, the first lady said, are you nervous? And I was like, I'm always nervous. I said, my biggest prayer as I walk up to the podium is, Lord, please don't let me fall. Because I'm not needed and I'm pigeon-toed, okay? And I'm swayed back. And so people be thinking I'm strutting. No, I'm not strutting when I walk. I'm not needed, pigeon-toed, and swayed back. That is my walk. You and got so the walk. I'm you thinking, got the walk. <laughs> I'm thinking when I walk up there, I'm so nervous that my knees, I can feel my knees buckling. I said, I'm praying God just get me up there. Just get me up there, God. Just get me up there. And she said, but you act like you just know that Bible from cover to cover. And I was like, that's not it. I said, I'm walking, say, don't let me fall. But then I'm also saying, Holy Spirit, where are you? Where are you? I got to feel you. I got to feel you. When I feel my help, 
All right. Girl, I get to that mic and it's on. But it's because there's been a lot of warring on the inside of me. Mm -hmm. So what people saw as somebody being confident, mm -hmm. they didn't know me. Mm -hmm. They didn't know me. Right. Come on. They didn't know me. One thing uh, one of our team members always say, as she said, she said to her husband, uh, she still don't know everything that's in her. Yes. Amen. So for him, because I just did not want him to teach that particular session of the deliverance ministry, he's thinking, she thinks she's the only one that knows. She thinks she's the, the most anointed one. No. But just think, had I known then what I know now, mm -hmm. I could have went back to him mm -hmm. and said it a different way. And all of these 10 years that he's been gathering people to come up against me, all of these 10 years, mm -hmm. all the strife, all the anger, all of that, the enemy went out ahead of door. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. One of the things to uh, help a lady in the back when it comes to people who are easily offended, as a, as a listener, which is kind of the reason why we have two ears and one mouth, <laughs> everybody has the right to be wrong. Mm -hmm. And what we normally do is we're so quick to to get them right, you know. When they when they start wrong, we're so quick to say whoa 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 whoa, and then we mm -hmm. want to impart what we know mm -hmm. to them to make them now aware, right? And they get offended. But if you allow someone who, in your opinion, because technically they may have some truth in what they're going to eventually say, to speak, and in your mind as you're listening to them the entire time and you don't interrupt, you think to yourself, well, everybody has the right to be wrong. It, again, it's not that you say it to him. We'll go right. to the to the to the young man who offered his material that wasn't quite to far. The the second side of that is the relationship. If I work in an environment where we have multiple people who are in, in roles of authority who don't have the relationship with their employees that I have with their employees, they will call me and say, Hey, I need this guy to work overtime. Can you call him and mm -hmm. see if he'll come in? And I think to myself, this guy works for you, man. You know, it, 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 it blows me away. Like, this guy works for you, but you don't have the relationship with him. So, mm -hmm. in fairness, you can't get out of him, which you should get out of him, nor can you correct him, nor can you get him to grow because the relationship isn't there. Mm -hmm. So, if the relationship right. with someone who is often offended or who, you know, if, if, if it's there, you can say something that somebody else, let's just say, can't get off. Because as soon as you say it, they, they want to go home. They're, they're done talking to you. They're, they're whatever it is. Their back is turned. But if the relationship is there and they know you genuinely love them, mm -hmm. you can almost say anything That's and then they will word. receive it correctly. Because the Bible says the word fitly spoken. Mm -hmm. So right. to get to where you can fit, it's going to start with the relationship. And again, because people have the right to be wrong, if you hear somebody out and then you say, okay, after some time has passed and you go back to them, they will generally receive that and the offense won't be there. Amen. Amen. That was a good word. Amen. That is Amen. a good word. Anybody else? I know we're running a little bit over. Just don't want to shut down. There's another question. Thank you all so much. Periscope, thank you. Okay, this is um, Periscope family. God thank bless you. you. Uh, we are about to cut off. For joining us. And um, uh, next we have some deliverances today. The uh, our favorite part. All right, God bless you all. And I'm going to, um, this is not the end of it.